Hey, what is up everybody? Zal here, and this is the start of our Sunday video, so welcome. Uh, I've got a couple of things I want to talk about before we actually jump into kind of what I did. Normally I leave this stuff for the end, but there's a couple of things that I want to make sure everybody sees, not just the people that stay until the end of the video. Uh, so the first thing is that... Uh, you know I gave away another 1 million commas, and we, we did all that, and you'll see that a little bit later in the video, but, um, they suggested to me that instead of doing a longer, uh, video every 3-4 to four days, that I do a shorter video every day, so like a 10 minute video every day, uh, maybe a little bit longer if I do something that takes a little bit longer, who knows, um, but they thought that was a good idea, and I did too, so I wanted to know, um, everyone's thoughts on that and if you guys think it's a good idea if you do think it's a good idea I'll be more than happy to do that because that'll be a lot easier for me because as of right now I'm normally picking and choosing between what I want to show and what I want to get rid of because you know you have to play a lot to actually get somewhere in this game so I've got a lot of recorded content and I have to pick and choose so if I do it this way uh, you'll kind of be able to see a lot more of what I do uh, so if you think that's a great idea, let me know, because uh, like I said, I'd be more than willing to do that. The next thing is that on November 3rd, which I believe is this coming Wednesday, Dofus is coming to Steam. So if you play a lot of games, you probably know what Steam is. Um, if you don't look it up, I don't really know how to explain it, but uh, it's pretty awesome. It's definitely going to bring a lot of uh, people to this game as long as... It gets good ratings and good reviews on Dofit or on Steam. So what I would really like to see everyone do is on November Steam, when when it first comes out, drop a rev, uh, uh, a review on it, so that it gets a, a bunch of positive reviews, so that a lot of people see it. Because the way Steam works is that the more popular the game is, the higher it goes up and the more people that see it. So I need all of you on November 3rd to go to Steam and give an honest review of what you think. Um, and hopefully that'll really help Dofus get out there on Steam because that's going to bring a lot more people to our servers. And if you're playing on Rushu, you probably don't care about that. But on little servers like Solar and Zadawashin, it, it really does matter, trust me, because we are dead, dead servers. Um, so yeah, like I said, make sure you're doing that. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about is that also on November 3rd, the Shadow server is getting a little upgrade. Experience, profession, and loot bonuses are all going to be times three, and that really excites me. So if you don't know what the Epic slash Shadow server is, it's basically a server that if you die in PVM, which is players versus monsters, then you stay dead and you have to start over. If you start over, you get times 2 XP, which is really nice. Um, but it's a fun little server that, I, that because of this update, I think I'm going to start doing. And I'm going to do a little mini-series on it. It's not going to be anywhere as often as the current video series and I'm not gonna play it as much so it's not gonna affect the current video series but I was thinking that it would be fun to play that um, one because challenges are always fun but two it's gonna let you guys play with me if you would like to join um, I'm thinking about possibly creating a guild on there where all of us can play together and meet up and have some fun um, so if you guys think that's a good idea I'd be more than willing to do that. Your guys' decision basically just decides if I make videos on it or not, because either way I will be doing it. Uh, my current planned team, which I'm more than happy to take advice from you guys, is going to be a Strength IOP, an Intelligence any, a Nerpsa, an Eripsa, however you say it, a uh, Chance Sacriere, and an Agility Fekka. I'm going for a very defensive team because, like I said, if you die, you have to start over. So I'm getting a very defensive team. So let me guy, let me know what you guys think about that. And then uh, the last thing that I'm going to talk about, which is kind of a segue into this week from Wednesday on, is that Zalifni got 
her into her full set finally so let's go ahead and take a peek at that it was a long time coming that is for damn sure uh, so yeah we've got Papurb's hat which was pretty poorly uh, pretty poor rolls I think the the vitality either goes to 300 or 350 on it and intelligence goes all the way up to 50 so very poor poor rolls but got Papurb's hat worn soft oak cloak right cloak nope cape uh, minotop belt soft oak flip-flops got my galeno wreck ring and then alaya woods talisman um and then i didn't even realize but i just gave something away about the shaker you'll see that a little bit longer on how i got that um but that's very exciting too uh so we've got her set done and then I'm currently working on Zalus's set. So this is all the mats that I've got for it so far. Uh, all of this junk up to this point right here. So all of this stuff is for his set. Uh, about 2.7 million K worth. Um, I had most of it. I got some from Froggy. But we still don't really have much in the terms of uh, the overall product. So like... I've almost got my Gorathurn sandals. I just need to get some smoked pebbles. Probably going to buy those. Um, and then Mandarine, got to get that. Crimson Claw. And then a couple of other things. Um, not that. That's that's something else. That's just by luck. But uh, yeah, we're working on that. And we're, we're getting places. We're getting places. But there's still a lot to do. So let's go ahead and look at what I have done this week and here we are I just logged into my uh, this is Zalus to Zalus for the first time in like I don't know a day and a half two days and I actually put up a market uh, for the first time in a, in a while and I actually sold a couple of things nothing too big I sold a Riki wand for 50,000 commas which I understand why that sold I think average price for it's like 500,000 or something I'm selling it for 50,000 that's basically just because I spent like a thousand commas to craft it and I'm not about to charge 5,000% or whatever stupid amount that is for it so I just sold it for 50,000 and I sold a small strength scroll um, so nothing too big but that 60,000 I'm gonna put in the bank with the rest of my 60,000 stuff or 60,000 stuff with the rest of the commas that I uh, make from like selling stuff on markets and in your shop and stuff but yeah this is kind of all the stuff that I'm selling um, I'm selling my old royal blop set because i don't need that anymore my old other intelligence set and then these are the reiki ones so if you look at the reiki one oh i was a little bit wrong Two hundred eighty thousand commas for one of those when i'm selling it for 50 so that is pretty darn cheap but yeah i'm selling a bunch of scrolls these are all the scrolls that i've gotten from uh drago turkeys which i can't show you because that's on zalathnine i'm not currently logged on to zalathnine uh but yeah I was, I was pretty excited about that to be honest um uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get on to the next thing that we're doing. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to be doing today, and today is Saturday, is that I need to level up a lot of mounts for breeding. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus three on my other three characters. So uh, eight plus three, who can do math? I can. Three, or eleven. Oh my goodness. I am all over the place today. I have to level up eleven mounts. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm just going to do that with the uh, the mobs here uh, in the Owymi area, I guess you could say. I'm just going to do those mobs because they're new and they're fun and they're entertaining. So I'm not going to show you guys any of that. That's going to be pretty boring, but I'll talk to you guys when I get all of the mounts leveled up past level 5 because that is what they need to be to breed. Guys, I've got some sad news, at least it's some sad news in my book. I just did El Pico's Cave, uh, leveling up mounts, um, because I was bored of just doing regular dungeons, or regular fights, so I did this dungeon, and I completely forgot to record it. Absolutely heartbreaking. Uh, if you look here, I beat, beat it though, it took me 18, 19 minutes, uh, so it took me 19 minutes to do. Uh, but I did beat it, and we're going to get some XP, so that's pretty exciting stuff. Um, it's still absolutely heartbreaking, though, because I wanted to record it, and I didn't. 
But I mean, it's whatever. Did we even get mounts to level 5? We got that mount to level 5. Is this mount level 5? That mount's level 5. Is this mount? This mount's level 5. Is this mount level 5? That mount's level 5. And this mount's level 5. So on top of that, we got all of the mounts level 5. So that is all of them. I think in total it actually went up to like somewhere around 16 mounts or so. So I'm going to go ahead and cut here, get the mounts into their pins, and then we'll see if there's any breeding that we can do. Holy shit, guys. So look at this right here. Froggy Princess is giving me a shaker as a congratulations for winning, and I am freaking dying inside. Uh, I gotta tell her that. OMG dying. Thank you so much. So she said um i beat i belt i beat el pico and she said zalfni deserves a prezi for that vz when you're free so i get here and she gives me that and i'm i'm basically just dying inside i mean it's freaking awesome holy shit i'm dying inside you the best so oh god I, this is amazing. You owe, I mean, not you. <laughs> I owe you so much. Ooh, gosh, guys, I'm so happy. I am, I'm literally freaking the fuck out right now. Um, but, uh, let's go ahead and do what I said I was gonna do and get those mounts in their pins. But still, holy shit, guys. Alright guys, the next thing on my list to do, I just got done doing all the plant, or plant, dofus breeding and all that fun stuff, so we're gonna go get rid of a bunch of extra mounts that I have, and boy do I have a lot, I have like 17 or something, whoa, what is this, you're passing in front of Castle Gate, you hear a guard, huh, that's new, so we're gonna go ahead and exchange Drago turkeys and get rid of all of these. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. And a lot of them are golden parchments, and that's because they were almonds that I had no more use for. And then we got some strength scrolls, which are 45,000 each, so if we could actually sell any, that would be flippin' fantastic. Um, so we will go ahead and confirm that sale. Exchange successful. Hey, what is up guys? Getting on Sunday morning, video's coming out today, but uh, was checking my mounts and when I opened up this uh, little tab here, all of your mounts that are ready to give birth, give birth, and they did, and I finally got A Star is Born, which if we look at it is just uh, bring 100 mounts into this world. So I'm now up to 102 mounts. Uh, so I am 10% of the way to getting the excitable obstetrician or whatever you want to call it. Um, but that's pretty exciting. So I wanted to share that with you. On the other hand, though, the mounts that actually gave birth, I had some pretty bad luck. I gave birth to uh, two turquoises. One was Ivory's giving birth to a turquoise, which sucks. And then my freaking plums did not give birth to another plum. They gave birth to a turquoise drago turkey. So that was pretty depressing because they have quite the long, what do you want to say, wait? No, I don't know what you want to call it. The Quite the long uh, birthing time. So that was that was pretty sad, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move around all of these mounts to where they need to go, and I will get back to you later. Hey, uh, Zal here again. This is literally like probably two minutes since I last talked to you, but uh, Froggy here is helping me out again. Um, she's actually letting me borrow. Yes, Froggy, borrow. I know you want to give it to me, but I am borrowing it. Um, her old agility set. She's switching her crawl to a new Omni set or something along those lines and she's uh, letting me use this bad boy, this set. She thinks she's giving it to me but she's not. I'll find a way to give it back to her. Um, but yeah, so she's really helping me out a lot. So now that's just one last set that I don't have to worry about for right now. But I'm still working on my strength set which is a bit of a pain, 
but uh what can you do uh we'll get there eventually eventually yeah eventually all right but uh i'm gonna get back to breeding my mounts and then i'll talk to you guys later all right what's up guys we've got uh i'm actually here on rushu and we've got moskva dash magadon if i said your name wrong i apologize um but he was the winner of our last 1 million k um so we just I did the ogrind, ogrind trading. I had to get to level 10 to get into the bank to get the commas. Um, so I got helped out with that. But now we are giving him his commas. Um, which is really, really um, exciting. So congratulations to him. Uh, congrats, man. Um, yeah, so that is some really exciting stuff. Um... You are most welcome. Yeah, so very exciting for him. Um, he's level 107. So I'm sure at this point in time it will help out a fair bit, depending on what he needs to get, if he's going to buy the items or if he's going to uh, craft them. I'm also not sure about the markets markets up here. Or not up here, on this server. Um, but yeah, very exciting stuff for him. I'm excited for him. I got my little YouTube Zal here. I thought that was a funny name. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got for this clip, guys. So for the last little bit of our video, we are just going to work on some scrolling. And the reason I say this is because pretty much every single one of my characters has about 3,000 doubloons, give or take some. So I figured what better to do with those doubloons then work on scrolling some more of my characters so um let's remove that because i'm actually going to use those to scroll uh so most of my characters let's see if you look at zalifni we've already scrolled zalifni to 50 in intelligence and in vitality but that's the only character that has that so hopefully with these 12-ish thousand plumes, we can scroll all of our other characters to 50 and 50. And that is what we're going to do. So, Zalathne is at 25, and we have got 19 strength scrolls, so let's just use those. And we're going to have to buy a couple more also, but that's no big deal. Maybe... Do you have multiple use on this? There is no multiple use on that. That's pretty annoying. But it's not like you use these very often. So you got 44, so I need to get 6 more. So let's go ahead and buy from the Temple Merchant. 6 Strength Scrolls? Yep, so 6. Beautiful. Inventory. Go ahead and use those. And I'm going to have to buy... 25 vitality scrolls so that's going to be a lot more expensive and i don't know if i'll have enough so let's see vitality scroll 25 oh i do have enough just kidding it's not as bad as i thought it was only 1500 okay so scrolling this no multiple use so let's look characteristic make sure i'm not okay good and then just bump this up over and over and over again. I wonder how much these are. I have a million commas worth of vitality scrolls. That's ridiculous. And I'm using them. Yep, so keep on scrolling. Slowly but surely. And there we go. Alright, so he is now 50-50. So let's work on Zalin. And I believe, let's look at characteristics. I believe it's, oh wow, he doesn't even have anything scrolled. Holy crap, I haven't scrolled anything on him. All right, so we've got some work to do. Uh, let's make sure that we don't have any scrolls, useful scrolls for him. So we don't need great agility scroll. These will come in handy though, right? Yep, those will. So we'll remove those. Any other scrolls? No, no, nothing. So, make an exchange. Give them these, because we don't need the great agility scrolls yet. Not yet. Um, confirm. 
confirm. So first thing I gotta do is I gotta buy 25 of the smallest ones. So I need 25 small agility scrolls, pretty cheap. And I need 25 of the small fatality scrolls. I can't believe I haven't done this before. <clears throat> I thought I'd done this already. Oh, things just get hectic, I guess, and you forget. So let's look at our characteristics and watch it go up. So right now it's at plus two, so just click away if you can hear these clickings, which actually looking at my screen, it looks like you can hear the clickings. Yep, you can definitely hear the clickings from looking at Audacity. And I apologize for that. It's just a lot of clicking. Oh my goodness gracious. My finger's starting to hurt, guys. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Alright, there we go, there we go. So now I'm going to need 25 and 25 of the other ones. So I don't think he's going to have enough because it, what was it, 1,500? Yeah, he's not. Okay, so. Great. I don't think it's great. Yeah, definitely not great. Agility scroll. I have enough to buy this, but I won't have enough to buy the vitality scrolls that I need. So I need this. Looks like I'll be able to buy 10. Nope. Five. And then I will need Zalus to buy more of those. So let's see. Uh, he'll be able to buy 15. So that is 20. I need to get five more and we'll get that with Zalithne. So we will buy. Yep, she's got. So we'll buy five of those. And then now let's just trade it all with Zelen. And if you're wondering how I, <clears throat> excuse me, how I got so many uh, Deplunes, it's from doing headhunting quests. Um, not headhunting. Uh, the, the quests that you do with at the militia and stuff. Where they say, oh, you need to kill this monster and bring him back. That, that, that is what I'm... How does it say I have 20? Oh, I wasted money. I suck, guys. Oh, well. What can you do? Except cry a little bit. Okay, so spells. Oops, not spells. Characteristics. There we go. So, 25, 25, so... Scroll, scroll, scroll. Lots of clicking. Again, I do apologize for it. I'm trying to actually sit back a little bit farther on my desk. So maybe you can't hear it as loudly, but you probably can. Let's be honest here. Alright. And 50. Awesome. And then we're just gonna agility scroll. Slowly but surely. I sure hope that I have Zalar scrolled. Fingers crossed that he's at 25-25. It should, yep, stop working there. So now we're at 50 and 50, so that's good. It's definitely good. And then now Zalar. Let's see, characteristics, please be 25 and 25. Beautiful. So let's buy... Does he have 3,000? He does, so he has enough just for himself, so that works out great. Hopefully I'm not going to need any mahogany pebbles anytime soon. Alrighty, so I need Vitality Scroll, 25, and Regular Chance Scroll, 25, and beautiful. Now to do lots of clicking. Uh, so we need to do spell, not spells, characteristics, and inventory, and just click away. And yeah, I wanted to uh, show you guys this. I thought it'd be pretty interesting to show you that I am slowly scrolling up my characters because I've never. There used to be. It used to be. For anyone that's played a while, 
you couldn't scroll this easily. You had to reset everything just to be able to scroll. And they weren't as effective either. Like, the scroll points are different from your characteristic points, whereas they were not before. So, you could scroll your character to 101 in a characteristic, but in the long term, it would only affect it by like 33 or something stupid like that. But yeah, now all four of my characters are at 50 and 50 in Vitality and their main stats, so that is pretty exciting. I know some of you are saying, Zhao, what about Wisdom? Wisdom's important. And it is, but I'm not worried about leveling up faster, and none of my characters take AP or MP on a regular basis, so I'm also not too worried about that. It would be helpful to stop getting AP and MP raped, but I mean, I'm not too worried about it at all. It's too expensive to do anything about it. Um, but yeah, that's what I got for this, so let's go ahead and start the end of the episode. Alright guys, so for the end of the video, just like always on a Sunday, we're going to take a peek at our characters' levels and how much they've gone up. So, as always, we will start with Zalar, our Masquerader. Uh, so he's level 119, he was level 116, so he's gone up a total of three whopping levels. Which is actually not bad, because he is on one times XP now, so he's going to be leveling up very, very slowly for pretty much forever now. Um, and there's nothing I can do about that. And I still haven't even looked into getting him Ancestral Set, which is really sad because his hat that he's wearing is a level... Um, where is it? Y'all are going to laugh at this. His hat that he's wearing is like a level 20 hat. Or 12 hat. He's wearing a level 12 hat and cape. Um, absolutely pitiful. But at the same time, absolutely hilarious. Um... Um, so anyway, back to this. Sorry, I got distracted trying to read. So Zalus, our Hupper Mage, is now level 149. Um, and she was level 139 before, so that is 10 levels. That's a very good increase. Zalen, our Eliotrope, 144, um, and was level 134, so that's another 10 levels. Awesome. And Zalathni, the big boy. Actually, it's a girl. Big girl. 146, now 156. So another 10 levels. So overall, not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. I am very impressed. Uh, didn't work on any professions or anything. I'm pretty lazy when it comes to that. Though I need to get back into it, especially mining. But for now, yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but yeah, that's all I've got time for this video. I will see you guys later. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you really enjoyed it, definitely subscribe. But uh, as always, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know how I can improve, what your thoughts are, and all that fun stuff. Other than that, have a fantastic day.